There's also this going to be, well, increased, increased scrutiny on the users of the drugs. You know, the middle class has been warned by Boris Johnson. You know, you take class A drugs and we find you, we'll confiscate your passports. Yes. I mean, I have to say I raised an eyebrow when I saw that proposal. We'd have to see how far that would get in terms of, in, in terms of the legality of it. Uh, but clearly, I think what can be said is that the government does appear to be looking for some creative and unusual solutions and to think sort of outside the box here with some of these ideas. Um, yes, they're trying to trial what, what they're calling more out of court sort of options, uh, but also coming down, as I said, quite heavily with some of these ideas, which might sound quite draconian. Um, but I think there's, there's been a very, you know, there's been a, a long time a sense in government uh, that there is a huge mismatch in the way um, drugs policy affects people on the ground. And that basically, frankly, if you're if you're a young person who lives in a city, you're more likely to be uh, sort of criminalized. Um, but uh, middle class people, and that's a very obviously broad categorization. But if you say professional people who like to use drugs recreationally at weekends and things like that, they seem to be able to escape any, any punitive measures whatsoever. So in terms of trying to create a, a greater sense of justice, uh, of, of justice shared, then I think these are all very welcome measures.